Pandora. Hey, Caesar. Hey, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. Today is December 1st, 2018. It is Saturday. Uh, the weather today, it is in the high 30s right now. I think it's about 36, 37 degrees. It's supposed to warm up through the night, and we're supposed to have rain coming in here. It has been overcast like this all day long, so it's just absolutely lovely. And uh, so, yeah, it's... Uh, but we're supposed to have rain all night, and then tomorrow it is supposed to um, go down to, uh, or go up into the 50s tomorrow, believe it or not. So, looking forward to, we're getting some meltage here, as you can see. This is actually, looks better here, and the path is starting to clear up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's supposed to, like I said, the rain's supposed to come, it's supposed to rain all night long, and it's going to be warmer, and uh, tomorrow's going to be in the 50s, so that'll be a good thing. All right, so let's get into the subject of today's video. Are we going through a climate change? Are we going from a period of warmer weather to colder weather? And if we are, what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean to you as a human being on the planet? All right, uh, if we are truly going, and, and again, we can always go with, uh, you know, if you want to really get some good information on uh, the... If you really want to get some good information on the Grand Solar Minimum, the Oppenheimer Ranch Project is a great channel with some great information on that. Uh, he's very, very informative, and he can really explain a lot of it to you, okay? But, uh, so, let's talk about if this is what's really happening, what does it mean to you, okay? So, if this is really happening, and we are going through a period where we're going from a warmer period to a colder period. And here's, a, first of all, let me just say this, guys. The planet has gone through cycles throughout the history of the planet. We've gone through periods of very, very extreme cold to very, very warm to cold again and warm again. It just, it, it goes in cycles. That's what the planet does. It's, it's not caused by, you know, uh, emissions or anything else. I mean, we're, we've only been on this planet for a very minuscule human being, that is, for a minuscule part of the time that this planet has been around. So the planet is going to do what the planet is going to do. Uh, our little environmental impact on it is really not going to make that big of a difference because, like I said, the, the, the planet's going to do what it's going to do. So if we're going into a cold period, what does that mean to us as human beings? Well, obviously the growing seasons would be shortened. There would be less availability of food. You know, you're going to have harsher, longer, colder winters. And so how, you know, overall, what is that going to do? Like I said, it's, it, you're going to have a lot, going to have a lot less food available for people. Uh, you're going to have a lot more crops that are going to be ruined because of mismanaging of the planting season and uh, when things are going to be done and, and how soon you can get things done. So with, with that being thing, what should you do about it? How do you prepare for the planet getting colder, for the winters being longer, for you know those type of things where you can't grow like you used to grow your crops before? Big thing for me, and this is obviously one of the projects that I want to really get done, and I hope to. <laughs> it, it's it's going to get done. It's just a matter of when and how long it's going to take. But greenhouses. Greenhouses are going to extend your growing season earlier in the season and later in the season. And if you have a way of keeping your temperature in your greenhouse warmer, you can probably grow year-round. Uh, you, there's a lot of cold-weather crops that you can grow you know, that are going to do just fine, even in colder temperatures. But obviously you're not going to be able to grow in sub-zero temperatures. But So that's why you need to keep that greenhouse up to a certain level to be able to grow. So, you know, that's going to be really, really important. Uh, being able to grow your own food is going to be huge, guys. I mean, I, I know I talk about food a lot, and I do. I talk about food a lot and having enough food on hand, okay? Having supplies get you through on the short term. That's what supplies are about, okay? So, so having your, your canned goods, having your uh, dry beans, having your freeze-dried foods, you know, you know those long-term uh, food storage things like that, great to have. 
very important to have. Is it important to have seeds? Absolutely, yes, it's important to have seeds. But to be able to grow your own food that you can sustain yourself with is going to be a huge key, in my opinion, if, you know, like I said, with, with uh, the planet turning colder, okay? So that's going to be a huge, huge thing, being able to sustain, grow your own food, to be able to, you know, to keep alive that way, to be able to have, you know, your, your gardens growing and, and stuff like that. So food is key. Food is key. I mean, obviously, fresh water is going to be number one no matter what, okay? you got to be able to have fresh water. But if we're going into a serious cold spell, there's going to be a lot of, like, what we have right here. Got a lot of snow on the ground, okay? Not that we have a lot right now. We have some. But, uh, you know, having, having the snow on the ground, it definitely, you can get water. I mean, you can take that water, you can boil it, you can purify it, and you can drink it, okay? So that's, that's definitely, you know, an option that way. But to be able to continue to have food, you need to be able to grow your own food. You need to have some way to be able to grow in a season that may be shortened down to a lot shorter than they are now. I mean, usually in November, I mean, now we're in December now, obviously, but in November, we don't nor normally never had snow like we've had this year in November. I mean, we've, we had the one major storm came through and dumped a foot of snow on us, and then we've had a lot of small, you know, storms, and the temperature has stayed down to the point where obviously the snow has not melted like we would have liked it to. But, uh, I mean, I can remember many, many years, uh, you know, it's a 50-50 shot up here if we're going to have snow at Christmas, you know. And we've had snow on the ground for several weeks, you know. And that's just, that, like I said, that's not normal. But now people will say, well, you know, every year is different and you never know. This is true. And that could be it. We could have an anomaly. Uh, last winter was a pretty bad winter. The two winters before that were pretty mild. So, I mean, who knows? And this year could actually end up being a very mild winter. You just don't know. But if the planet is going into a cold system, to a cold thing, if we're going into a grand solar minimum, and like I said, again, if you really want to get the good information on that, go to the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. <clears throat> Diamond knows what he's talking about. He'll give you all the information that you want over there. It's really, really good. So I definitely recommend you going to check out his channel. So and you can tell him I sent you because I mean you know um, I've I've talked with him before. He's a good guy, but uh, and he's not he's not up there trying to BS anybody. That's that's the biggest thing, and I, that's what I like too. But anyhow, so being able to grow your own food. I mean, it, and it's and it's the same thing, guys. When SHTF happens, I always say when because it's not a matter of if. In my opinion, it's a matter of when. Food is going to be the biggest key, and being able to grow your own food is so, so important. And I think a lot of people lose sight of that. They don't realize how truly important it is. You can be stocked up to the max. You could have two, three years' worth of food, and that's great, and that's good, and, and you should. Do I think you should? Absolutely. I, I do the same thing. I mean, I stock up on food. I do. Absolutely, I do. But at the same time... Every year, I continue to work with my gardening skills, and I continue to grow gardens. I mean, if you've seen the gardens the last two years we've had here, we have expanded the garden both years, and it's not huge, but it, we've produced a lot of food in a small uh, space. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, I think this year, I, at a guess, cucumbers off of six plants, I probably had almost 200 cu cucumbers this year. That's pretty freaking good, I think, you know, and they were good sized cucumbers. I mean, I go out there and not realize that I'd miss some and they'd be, end up being huge. But, you know, and the squash did great and, and the tomatoes and the peppers and everything did really, really well. So, again, like I said, it's just a matter of learning those skills, learning how to garden, getting greenhouses in if you can get a greenhouse in. It doesn't even have to be a huge greenhouse. I mean, I could put in a small greenhouse here and it really wouldn't cost me a lot of money. But what I would like to do is I would like to put in some good-sized greenhouses. And I, like I said, I know I've told you guys before, but my go game plan is to put all these panels back farther and uh, on a new rack system. Take all this out here and then turn this whole area from like the beginning of the camper there all through here, all the way down into, like, I mean, if I could turn it into one giant greenhouse, that would be absolutely awesome. Now, that's going to cost me some money to do that, obviously. So, I mean, it may end up being, like, a, a, a smaller one here and then another one here and have two different greenhouses. I don't know yet. I mean, we'll have, that's, that's all going to come when it comes. But, you know, 
you have to have plants. You got to know how to grow food, guys. So if you don't know how to grow food, you better learn. Soil is so key, and a lot of people don't realize how important soil is. You got to have good soil, and uh, you know I don't use any kind of uh, chemicals on my gardens. I don't use any kind of Miracle Grow or any of that type of stuff at all. It all comes down to the soil. If you have good soil, you're going to get good crops, and that's the truth of it. Okay. So anyway. I hope, hope you liked the video. Um, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you, and I want to hear what your thoughts are on it, too. I want to hear your feedback and hear what you guys have to say. And, uh, you know, I definitely want to hear your input. Do you think we are headed into a grand solar minimum? Uh, you know, and if, and if we are, what do you feel about that? How do you feel? Are you preparing for that? Are you getting ready to be able to grow your own crops? you know, in a more controlled environment, because that's what it's going to end up having to be. It's going to have to be in a more controlled environment. So if that's the case, um, let me know. And uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like that when I say that, but I really truly believe that. Uh, we definitely are in this together. And uh, remember, you know, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, remember STD, guys. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. And uh, the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself, okay? And that's so true, and a lot of people don't realize that. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, I got Eddie back with me now. Heather is spending the weekend with her mom. And uh, so that's... Uh, you know, because he was, had some dental appointments, and he's got some more next week. He's getting all four of his wisdom teeth taken out, and then a couple of other teeth that are bad taken out as well. So he's going to be a sore puppy next weekend. Anyway, guys, um, I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, like I said, I'd lo love to hear the feedback. If you like the videos, like, comment, share. Uh, hit the icon button, you know, uh, down here to subscribe. You know, in the video, you'll see me and the kids. And then hit the bell button, and uh, so you get updated, okay? Hope everybody's doing great. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.